Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. A Chinese ghost story, which you can stream on Amazon Prime, is one of the gems of the final heyday of Hong Kong cinema. A heady blend of supernatural chills, martial arts action, comedy, and deft sensuality. All wrapped up in a love story. It's a chaotic mix, taking as much inspiration from Evil Dead as it does from Chinese legend. And it really ought not to work, but it absolutely does, hauling you into its madcap world, mesmerizing you with its elegance, before dazzling you with its action. Aside from the excellent storytelling of director Xu Tung Ching, I think the reason it works as well as it does is the characters, and particularly Leslie Chung's hapless scholar Ling Choi San. While the action sequences are mostly left to Wu Ma as amateur ghost hunter swordsman Yin, certainly the most entertaining character, Ling is meek and accident prone. <laughs> which actually seems to work in his favour, particularly when he meets Joey Wang's ethereal Xu Xin. The fact that Ling isn't a traditional hero, that he is a klutz but basically good-hearted, is what wings Xu Xin's heart and also charms us. He's a nice guy, trying to do the right thing and succeeding through his own ineptitude. And there's a lot for him to succeed against. Xu Xin has been forced to seduce bad men so their life force can be drained, which doesn't necessarily slow them down. She is held in the service of the old dame, who occasionally manifests as a giant tongue. And is promised in marriage to the Lord of the Black Mountain. Again, there's so much going on, at one point it becomes a musical. But it never feels too busy, because the focus remains on the love story between mortal and ghost. Basically, this is a Cabin in the Woods story, in which the cabin is a temple, and rather than just terrifying the teenagers who've stumbled into it, one of the undead falls in love. It's not a complicated premise, but it's so much fun. Thanks for watching. Are you a fan of a Chinese ghost story and what other films from this era of Hong Kong filmmaking would you recommend? Let us know in the comments below.